Welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. What up? What up? This what is up? Episode six of season two. The I originals. Am, I am Los with the most. Your host, Los. <laughs> Yeah, nice. hey, hey, hey. Public Energy 59. That's too much. Right hey. across from me, we got the legend that never was, <laughs> JP, <laughs> aka Linkster 101. Damn right. Damn right. And behind the magic of it all, we got uh, Eli, aka JRX. Well, 4X. Follow him on Twitch. Sweaty? I look sweaty, but I'm not. It's uh, pressure, man. He's, he's keeping his skin lathered. You know? Hydrated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. Um, uh, let's just get into it. No, fuck that. Let's let's uh let's fucking get into it. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna start off with gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, so we had the PlayStation State of Play last week, uh, and they basically PlayStation does their own at, uh, Nintendo Direct now. When they could have just done it with everybody else, but I guess whatever. Anyways, they uh went ahead and did their own uh State of Play. Uh, and a bunch of games were announced and, or revealed or uh, stuff like that. Nothing, to be honest, that I was like blown away by. No. There was that one game that uh, there was that one VR game by uh, uh, no, uh, by not Naughty Dog by Rockstar, the uh, LA Noir Case Files. That I'm kind of like, okay, that might be cool. You're like a detective mm-hmm. cop, you know, in the 19. 19- 40s, whatever the hell that that game takes I mean, place. They, they released, and it's in VR, they so released, that sounds interesting. They released, uh, um, you know, some some information. I mean, the Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, the exclusive modes that they have, uh, their lineup for October. Um, everyone was because there was a rumor also about a new Batman game, but that that didn't that didn't happen. Um, it's been rumored that there's another studio making a Batman game, so it won't most likely be the same as the Rocksteady games, you know, that third person, things like that, but there's rumor of another studio making a Batman game. Anyways, uh, yeah, but the big news coming out of the state of play was uh, The Last of Us 2. Yeah, The Last of Us 2. Uh, release date got confirmed. Uh, they showed a new trailer. Did you think I was going to leave you do this alone? <laughs> <laughs> Joel, uh, Joel's confirmed to be alive. The... Huh? He's confirmed to be alive. Yes, yeah. so... He's in there. Did you really uh, think? Oh, did you do this alone? <laughs> uh, so what do you guys think? You guys are like the last of us. <laughs> I mean, I'm player. excited for it. At first, I thought they were pushing agendas with the trailers and shit like that. And I wasn't going to play it. But then I see, like, more than likely they're going to kill that girl. So that makes me happy. And um, that makes them... I'm, I, I'm assuming the storyline is that, that girl that kissed Ellie in that trailer. Uh, she, I guess Ellie, Ellie falls in love with her. They kill her. Some humans kill her. And Ellie goes out for revenge. Uh, it looks really good. The gameplay looks really good. They said it's very, very similar to what it was on the Last of Us one. Um, I, I liked it. I I thought it was really, really cool from what I saw. Uh, I I will probably more than likely borrow a PS a PS four or five and, and play it. Notice I said borrow. Um, I'm gonna let you borrow. Yeah. Not <laughs> you. Uh, but Elias, I know Elias. That's one of his top five games. Uh, the Last of Us. What did you think? Uh, it looked good. I mean, it, it, I've already seen gameplay before. I wasn't like too like crazy about that. I was like, whatever. But the thing I am excited about is the release date. It's gonna be February twentieth, twenty twenty. And like, uh, I'm a stream. I was actually talking about like the date that they picked this. It's two twenty twenty twenty. It's it's not only yeah that, but it's also like within that one month span. There's cyberpunk. There's yeah. No, uh, uh, Last of Us. Oof. There's oh shit. There was a bunch of other games that we were looking yeah, at, yeah, like yeah. the release the, dates. I was like, what the I, hell I, are they thinking? I believe. Um, fuck. Here, let me pull it up. Yeah, pull it up because I know it's a big, big, big list. Just with Cyberpunk being no, there. but it's not Cyberpunk just February because it's February, March, and April. Those That's three what I'm months is like crazy. Yeah. Like I have to literally start saving money by January to be at least uh, work overtime at least two days. Over time, like eight hours, and then I'll have enough to cover all the games. Yeah. Well, you need to get a PS4 first. Then. Nah, it's okay. I'll borrow one. <laughs> <coughs> That's why I have a new brother-in-law for, dog. Woo! Hey, it's a price oh, to pay. Yeah. It's a price to pay to be my brother-in-law. You what gotta be borrowed. With these? Let me use my ad blocker! So, while Elias is fighting with his computer, 
I think The Last of Us is going to be... They took such a long time. Their emphasis yeah. was basically on having the exact same type of game style that they've always had and have a great story to tell. And that's one of the things I enjoyed about the first one. The story was great, um, especially with Joel. Uh, he was like my, one of my favorite characters of gaming. The voice for Joel. And they're bringing back the same people from what I'm, from what I'm understanding. All right. So Last of Us, end of February, beginning of March... Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. I'm not touching. I'm not. Sorry, Last of Us. Not gonna happen. Uh, April 16th, Cyberpunk, of course. Woo! Uh, yeah, those are like the major ones so far, but uh, man, that whole. That well, Animal Crossing is just going to soak up all of that time, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in May, uh, Marvel's Adventures comes out. That one's going to be bought uh, too. Boo. <laughs> Hater. They don't sound or look the same like no, in the what? movies. No, I don't care about that. It just doesn't even look good. It doesn't look good. Like it doesn't look Thor like it plays good. I saw the Thor fighting scenes. But yeah, moving right along. Uh, the Last of Us should be an entertaining game. I expect it to be in competition for Game of the Year because Resident Evil 2 is still the Game of the Year and it's already October. So, yeah. Well, we got... What else we got for the rest of this year? We still oh, got uh, Knights... Uh, the, the, uh, the, oh, Star Wars. the Star Wars game. We got uh, Pokemon, which you never know could take the title. Nah, I don't think so. But yeah, I think you're right. Resident Evil 2, as of right now, it looks like the game of the year. <laughs> like the game of the so year. far, in my, my yeah, opinion. Yeah, so far it is. Yeah, like, hands down. I don't know. Fire Emblem's oh, coming up there. I need, to, I need to play more Fire Emblem. Also, in March 2020, uh, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah, the remake. Ooh. Watch Dogs Legion eh. and Animal Crossing. So. Oh, Final Fantasy VII. I forgot. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot about Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. It's because that, that whole beginning of the year is going to be expensive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it already is. I'm already. But The Last of Us is, <laughs> I, I, I believe, uh, because I trust Naughty Dog, they've always done uh, good games. Um, I think that you guys should go out and, and play the first one and then buy the second one. Uh, Naughty Dog's very good. Uh, I, think, I think it's free right now for PlayStation uh, Now or what's it called? PlayStation Live? What's it called? Plus there. owners, you get uh, Last of Us Remastered. Oh, yeah. It's free this Oh, month. the Remastered? Oh, that's nice. It's yeah, free you, right uh, now. If you're a PS Plus, yeah, you get yeah. Uh, okay. Last of oh, Us there, free. There you go. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I wish Los would, I'm telling Los to go fucking play it. I don't know why he doesn't want to go play it, but he should. Well, there you go. It's free right now. Yeah, it's well, free right I mean, now. Los. Why? If I'm not no gonna play two, it's free right now, crossing. motherfucker. But Animal Crossing. Yeah, that's next year, <laughs> dumbass. All right, let's go. Let's go. Um, all right, next thing uh, we got to talk about is Call of Duty: The New Modern Warfare coming out uh, in in October. Uh, when, yeah, October 25th. Man, they were playing that beta like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's uh, pretty solid from what I played, man. It was fun. Uh, anyways. It is they're coming out with uh, exclusive mode uh, that's going to release to uh, PS4. PS4. Only PS4. Only PS4. I think it's a month of exclusivity. But Xbox um, should have it like right next. No. They usually okay. have that. What's going on right now is uh, <coughs> Activision decided to, to give uh, PlayStation owners uh, a year-long exclusivity game mode. Uh, it's Spec Ops Survival Mode. Now, the way they try to spin it is like, oh, it's only like 1% of the game, blah, blah, blah. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm like, if it's not that big of a deal, then why are you announcing Why are you making it an exclusive to PlayStation yeah, owners? Exactly. Now, some of the rumors are is that, number one, that PlayStation didn't want to play ball with the crossplay. So they're like, oh. well, <laughs> if you want us to be crossplay active with everybody else, then you better give us something, especially we being the biggest console of, the, of this generation. Yeah. So they're like, okay, we'll give you a year of this one game mode. And they're like, oh, okay. But, I mean, regardless, I think Activision already had, like, some kind of deal with um, with, Sony? With, with Sony, especially with Destiny. They yeah. had, like, year-long ex- exclusivity stuff. But uh, I was talking about this on my stream. It's, like, it's probably right now you're seeing so much, like, outrage over it. It's because uh, Call of Duty uh, is, is more of a – there's more of a feeling of a ownership for this franchise versus Destiny being a new franchise. So when they announced that Destiny is going to have like exclusive content to no PlayStation, one gives a shit. nobody gave a shit because it's, 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 it's a new Destiny. series. It's a new series. And it's Destiny. No one gives but a shit. But Call of Duty has been around for years, like yeah, what, 10 years, more? And it, it just it, it just rubbed everybody the wrong way. Even PlayStation owners are like, what the fuck is like Activision doing? Why are they doing that? You're, you're, yeah. you act, you're like stepping in the right direction with crossplay and active with all systems. Yeah. But then you take a step back with like no, taking a game mode. they're being cautious with crossplay. Like, you're taking a step they back with, with, the, yes. with, the, with the game mode like that. Like, they're, they're being cautious. Because they want to see. At the end of the day, and, and whether we like it or not, it's all about money. 
Yeah. I mean, that's really what it comes down it, to. It's PlayStation saying, well, there's crossplay. You can get on any system and play with kids on our system, but yeah. if you want to play this one mode, you got to come to our system. Yeah. So. And what is the mode about, anyways? Do you know? Survival, she it's said. A, it's like a, a survival wave, uh, wave based game mode where you play against the AI. Mm. Uh, it w- I think it was in the other Modern Warfare series. I'm not too big on Modern Warfare series in general, but uh, it, it's I mean it's really not like the biggest thing in the whole world. It's just you know. So who cares? Um, okay. I mean, the, okay. Who cares? Who cares when you're paying sixty dollars for a whole game then don't, and you're then and you're not getting it. the whole game? Then don't buy it. No, it doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make sense. Then don't buy it. That doesn't make sense. You're you're leaving. That's pissed. pissed. Hey, it's not my fault. At least they told y'all before and not like. You can still go cancel your pre-order. You got to understand. Oh, I canceled my pre-order. Yeah. Fuck that. Look, you got to understand, Lowe's buys DLCs. So Lowe's doesn't understand the meaning of when you pay 75 bucks, you get my full game. I buy DLCs for things I fucking care about that I like. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I buy... I mean, it's your money. It's your money. The DLCs are going to be free for this uh, Call of Duty, though. It's your money. It's your, exactly. No, either way, either way, if you're gonna promote crossplay, then be fair. Don't act like, oh yeah, I'm gonna step my little toe in the water, but I'm gonna just put not not the entire feet, just my toe. That's bullshit. But I get your point. I because either the, way, my, my thing is, it'll lead to something else. It always leads to something else. Like this might be a small step, and then the next step there'll be like a whole big packet of like the map not shown for Xbox players. But no, just I mean, or the, the other way around. The thing is too is that I wouldn't have so much of an issue with this myself. If it was like maybe max a month exclusivity, maybe, mm. but it's a whole year. Per- preferably two weeks would be the best. Uh, but it's an entire year, and if anybody knows the Call of Duty series, within like six months, it's dead. Like nobody stops playing it. You're already hearing rumors of the next one. You're already looking at trailers. <laughs> like this is true. Like why are you gonna why why are you gonna hold it off for an entire year? Like they knew that that was gonna happen, and. It, but people it, are the sad thing is people are still going to pay for it. No, yeah, of course. I mean, it's 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 Call of Duty, so they're yeah, going to yeah. keep pay for it. We just have to. Either way, I mean, when I'm looking at buying this game, I'm still, I'm feeling like I'm gonna get it on the, um, on the Xbox One. Right. That's the even with but this. But you're you're okay with paying full price for not getting the whole game? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. You're I okay am. with that? Sixty dollars for a whole game. <laughs> yeah. One's that, done. That, that's mode missing something. That most likely I'm never gonna touch. As a matter of fact, they need to start lowering down the, the lowering down the prices for video games. If you're gonna do DLC content, you want people to buy the DLC. Lower down the games to forty five, and I'll pay the, the twenty five difference for the DLCs. That's not an issue to me. But I, my issue is, you release content exclusivity for just certain players or a certain console, and you don't even allow. It's just stupid to me. It's just dumb. But I, I feel you. But yeah, uh, it's an ongoing battle. I've already been telling y'all stop buying fucking DLCs and we'll win this battle. But y'all want to be stupid. Yeah, I think That's I'm gonna get y'all. it for the for the, the Xbox because, mm-hmm. like I said, it's a mode that most likely I'm not gonna touch. Or you know was what? Never Honestly, gonna touch. To be honest, I'm probably never gonna touch it either. But that that's not the point. The point is that they because start. What they, if it was something that what everybody? If, what if it's, this is? Just if it a, was, then I would. What if this is just purchase? a snowball effect? That's what I was. It, just it stating start, right now. It starts off with the little thing. And then another thing, mm-hmm. and then they're cutting out entire parts of the game. Because I understand The Last of Us. The Last the Last of Us is exclusive. I get that. Halo is exclusive. I get that. But I bet you anything, Xbox is more willing to allow Halo to be cross-play than uh, Sony is to let The Last well, of Us. Well, that's true. I'm not saying I that mean, Sony saying, no, Xbox, isn't an asshole in this. Xbox in this. right now, Microsoft in general, is more like team, team consumer, team me, you, and everybody who's listening. Yeah, because um, they fucked up. Because they fucked up. Of course, they're the gonna, only reason of course they're gonna be the like. Xbox. Of course, if, I think I think they were asked about this exclusivity issue, and they're like, "No, we would never do that to our fan base. We can't do that to the community." I'm like, "Well, yeah, because I mean, you lost this generation, so you're trying to save face for the next one." But regardless, I, I don't like it. It's just it just feels like it, it could probably end up being like a snowball thing, and just gets worse. Well, hopefully, it'll, uh, ho- we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm not gonna be negative on it. We'll see what happens. I think Sony won't get better in this crossplay. Like everyone, I feel is gonna. I mean, right in. right now they don't have to. I mean, yeah, they're, they're they don't in the have lead. to. They don't have to. Yeah. Uh, and, there's no pressure I mean, for them for that. Yeah, I mean, I hope it gets better because hey, you know, there's a bunch of games out there that yeah. people just want to play together, man. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we'll see what happens. If y'all want, y'all can get PC. PC. <laughs> PC does that. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So we're gonna go on to sports. <sighs> Touchdown! It's a home run. Rock and roll, Texas. Let's get to it. Space Earth. Um, so, A.B. 
Antonio so, yeah. Brown, the saga continues. Too much with <laughs> All right? We started the week off with him being released. Uh, from the Patriots. Yeah. Uh, and the, the reason why, and the reason why was because he was, uh, uh, he was uh, filed a, a lawsuit for sexual harassment by his trainer. And yeah, we talked about it last week. And he made a text message group with the trainer and other people talking about sending a picture about her family and saying, This is going to happen to you if you do this and Yeah, he started sending text messages. No, yeah, we talked about that last week. So, due to that, all right, Patriots were like, nope. Fuck it. We going to cut you, all right? And apparently, there's a report that Tom Brady was like, eh, Please don't really need him. No, we need him. And Robert Kraft was like, No. The moment that happened, the moment that happened, AB's all pissed off talking about, fuck all you guys, the owner can do sexual harassment, and I can't, something along those lines. It's true, though. Uh, Kraft, Roethlisberger. Uh, yeah, he started mentioning names. I mean, let's just, yeah, he started mentioning names, and there's a laundry list of players yeah, in the NFL that. that have done, that have been, uh, yeah. have gone through worse stuff. Agreed. Because and, and we're still allegedly. Yeah, it's alleged with did him. Did Antonio do it but, or not? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to say he's guilty till he's proven in court. He'll have a day in court. But, but the, the point is, the, he did all this, right? And he comes out with a series of tweets. And at the end of the series of tweets, he says, you know what? I'm retiring to football. Fuck them. Yada, 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 yada. And to me, it's like, bro, no one told you to misbehave and lose out on $30 million. No, the dumb thing he did was the text messages. Why are you... <laughs> Who does that? Why are you giving more fuel to the, the fire? Thing? Yeah, like... Ju- look, if allegations come up, you deal with it. But it's this new man. generation, bro. It's this new generation of idiots and sensitive people. Uh, <laughs> like, he's a diva. I mean... He is a diva. What do you he's expect? worse than T.O. Like, he's I'm, worse than Chad O'Toole. I mean, oh, yeah. He's, he's, oh, wor- yeah. he's worse in, the, in, in, in a way that... That it seems like it now, but to be honest, probably Tio and all of them would probably have been the same and they were living in, in like in the in their prime in the same generation as we as they are now. Well, true, true. Uh, but I'll tell you this. They won't be throwing fucking furniture over a fourteen uh foot story uh 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 condo and almost killing a baby. Like an idiot that he is. Who the hell does that? Who the hell gets so mad you throw furniture that's not even yours? <laughs> out the window. <laughs> that's stupid. Like, so anyway, this happened. And Antonio Brown is right now, unfortunately, the face of the NFL. He is on what? everybody. They talk about him on every goddamn day in ESPN on first take. They talk about him on fucking uh, uh, Undisputed. They talk about him on the NFL. His name is being mentioned just for being his stupidity. He's so stupid, he went to his court date and recorded it on Instagram. Yeah. Like, this dude is fucking childish, bro. Like, well, this- there's also talks of him probably having some mental issues, too. He needs help. He, that, yeah, he needs help. But he's not getting it because he seems like he's okay at times. Well, I don't know. So the point is, he's done all this, right? Then we get to last night. Or the day before last night. So he, at the end of his day, he changed his mind. Like He's a little diva. He's like, nah, the NFL, the game needs me. The game needs me. <laughs> and Eric Weddle was like, nah, bro, we don't need you. And he was like, man, shut your little ass up. That's why st- I'm, I'm just quoting here, not correctly, but I'm paraphrasing. He's like, shut your little ass up. That's, why little st- ass. That's what he said. <laughs> that he's is. Like, he's hey, like, little man, you need to take uh, a little man. Here, actually, I have it right here. Pull yeah. Up. He was like, shut your little ass Hold up. On, let him read. Oh, let him read. Um, let's see. I'm getting this from NBCSports.com. Uh, Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield and unemployed wide receiver. No, <laughs> no first time. No, did, there's one before why Baker Mayfield. Why did he phrase it like Un- <laughs> unemployed? <so> funny. <laughs> the bum, the bum wide receiver. No, but uh, before Baker Mayfield, there was uh, Eric, Eric Weddle. Weddle. Eric Weddle's a safety for the Baltimore Ravens. Mm-hmm. Um, um, he he okay. was. He's he, now with the. He's with. Man, I mean, with the Rams. Yeah. No, no, no. Not, yeah, he's with the Rams. With, with the Rams. Rams. Or he or made the Chargers. A, yeah. Because I'm. Can I explain? Okay. Basically, AB was like, the game needs me. Eric Weddle was like, no, you, we don't need you. And he was yeah. like, shut up, little man. That's why I stiffed arm you that one oh, day. Yeah. You, can catch his, like, you can catch his hands. He put a picture up. And then Eric Weddle's like, bro, when are you going to realize it's not about you? But don't worry. I got a game to get ready for. You just sit back in your couch and relax. Damn. Cold-blooded. Shots fired, right? Next thing you know. All right, hold on. Let me pull up the Eric Whittle stuff. Yeah. No, 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 don't worry about Eric Whittle. Yeah, Eric. Just, just, uh, just, y'all make me stop for Eric no, Whittle. No, 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 no. Go on. Go ahead oh and talk God. about uh, Mayfield. So, so, so then after that, Baker, Cole, Cole Mayfield, Baker Mayfield has been ha- struggling with the Browns. They're one and two. Um, he's been giving a lot of backlash. And then um, a tweeter 
uh, like he posted on Instagram. Like it was harmless, but I get the point of the person who responded. He was like, bro, this this person who was following Baker Mayfield was like, bro, why don't you try winning games instead of writing this stupid shit? You sound like A B. And then he and then uh, Baker was like, if I sound like A B, let me go ahead and uh, uh, throw my talk mess about my teammates. Uh, right yeah, now. yeah, okay. This is where I got. All right, Browns quarterback again, NBC Sports. <laughs> uh, Browns quarterback Baker Mayfield and an unemployed uh, and an unemployed wide receiver Antonio <laughs> Brown <laughs> are the latest NFL players to have a social media beef. It started with Mayfield putting up uh, a post on Instagram. That one of his followers felt was too much like the kind of content Brown often posts. Mm -hmm. Mayfield responded to the comment by taking issue with any suggestion that he's anything like Brown. He wrote, quote, you're right, end quote. Uh, Mayfield wrote sarcastically, quote, let me call out my teammates and throw a fit about my helmet and then go freeze my feet off. End quote. <laughs> <laughs> Brown saw the illusion uh, uh, and to him and it wasn't happy about it. Quote, sorry ass Chico, keep rolling right, you ain't down, done nothing in this league, the internet, uh, only rolling, place right? you would ever talk to or about me. Uh, you know you get beat quick, slice you up, some humble pie, end quote, Brown tweeted. So, uh, uh -huh. so basically, Antonio Brown is like, bitch, keep rolling right, because apparently that's all he, that's can, all do. he can do. <laughs> rolling right. Which I haven't, I haven't said it publicly, but I was going to bitch about him just rolling right because that's all he can do. That's all his best throws. But everyone has that. Like, everyone has a left or the right. Like, he's being a bitch about it, basically. But he was like, mm -hmm. bro, you don't want none of this. You want to catch these hands. But either way, Baker shouldn't have, have called A.B. That whole it, mess is sticky. Um, but it would be cool if A.B. was with the Steelers or if he was with the Browns. Um, but he's unemployed. He's unemployed. So everything that he comments on is like, bro, you don't even have a job. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, bro, for that you can't, man, he don't need a job. No, he need, bro, with all these lawsuits, he's going to need a job. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, he's and he's not paying just the people who he, he needs to pay with because he just settled, all right? He settled one account, all right? Number one, he has to pay his lawyers. Them lawyer fees ain't cheap. No, that's true. I'm going to tell you, ask Tupac. <laughs> Tupac will tell you. More money, more problems, like Biggie said, all right? At the end of the day, Antonio Brown is a diva. Baker Mayfield's over here being all stupid. I don't even know why he responded like that. Yeah, he shouldn't have brought AB. Why are you putting AB in your mouth, bro? You know that shit's like fucking, like fucking spice, bro. You can't handle spice, bro. That shit's all fucked up. Pinche chorro. That's what it is, bro. And you're over here like fucking getting close to it and licking it just by mentioning his name. Bro, ignore it, bro. Number one, you need to work on your game. Instead of rolling right, try rolling left a couple of times. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just happy Brown's got uh, yeah. shown up for being overrated. I mean, he's he's been playing like shit, dude. I'm not lying. He's been playing like shit. He, he, he really is not. And you can tell the play calling they got for Baker going on. It's like short. It's very kind of short. Shit. Yeah. Because the offensive like line can't hold the ball. Like that one touchdown they got in that win was <laughs> he Odell right. Beckham. No, it was Odell Beckham. He threw the ball short to Odell. Oh, yeah. He ran and Odell shit. ran it for, I mean, but. Baker hasn't really made any fields, uh, plays downfield or no. He really hasn't. It's all kind of like short stuff, and he's been dinking and dacking. Yeah, and it's been and the dacking hasn't worked as much. But you know, uh, as I said, you know, AB is is a diva. He will continue to be a diva. Yeah, and, it doesn't look good for him. And, and I don't think I wouldn't touch him if I, I was an owner. I wouldn't touch him. him. Guys, like ticking time bomb. Yeah, he's poison yeah. ivy. He going and if he him. can't do it in New New England. He but see, that's my over. point. Everyone's like, if he can't win New England, New England is always going to try to find a way to fucking win. They're Don't cheaters. They've Gordon. always been. He can't. They, hey, when Josh a rehab. Gordon, Josh Gordon is doing what he needed to do. When to stay a rehab. On the team. When a rehab. The guy's back. He's he playing has well. thirty-five yards oh, hey. a game. Calm down. Hey. He's playing well. He's playing well. Um. Anyways, we're gonna move on to in basketball. The New Orleans GM. Oh yeah, pull that up. Says AD left for sex. What? <laughs> What? Yes. What? So, okay, y'all gotta fill me in so, on this. Yeah, Basically, I, I don't going know on. this one. This one is a little bit tricky here. So essentially, uh, the GM ha was kind of have a press conference. They asked him a little bit about AD, and I think he's just getting frustrated. AD, which is Anthony Davis, he left the Lakers. It is what it is. He left the. the I mean, the, the New Orleans. It is what it is. Like he wanted out, and he was unhappy. And you know, the, he's the GM is done talking about it. He's like, man, if you want to leave just for sex, just to go to LA for sex. And that's on you. We have a we have a team to he basically spilled the beans, bro. He's like, you know, if you want to leave for sex and that's all you care about, then there's no room there's no room for you here in New Orleans anyway. 
So AD was like, man, first off, it's not even like that. Let him think whatever he wants, but it is what it is. But thinking about it, New Orleans ain't known for the girls. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. This is an article from ESPN. I just pulled it up. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, purple, gold is keeping your soul. Uh, quote, that's fine. I don't care. And quote, Davis said Friday in an appearance on ESPN's The Jump during Lakers media day. Quote, I mean, like, the past is the past, you know. I didn't hear that, but look. I love the city of New Orleans. I've been there seven years. Gave gave my all. Six and a half gave my all. And it was fun times, you know. It was fun times. And quote, David uh, Griffin, the Pelicans executive vice president and GM, said in a promotional event earlier this week that New Orleans was a unique city for some NBA players. Uh, and it's not suited for them. Uh, quote, uh, not everyone's made to be part of the, this, and that's okay. We're comfortable with that, Griff, uh, quote, and uh, Griffin said, uh, quote, if sex appeal is your thing and you need a big market, okay. See you later. If so- doing something meaningful appeal, for bitch. people who care about supporting their teams uh, every day is important, this is something you're going to want to be a part of, end quote. But, I mean, sex appeal is, is very important, I think, to every man. Sex appeal to for himself? I don't know. I think to he like, appeal he, to other he's people? He's talking about, like, his... His 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 star power to grow. Oh, okay. you know you know how it's it's sexier to be on the Lakers yeah, versus yeah, being yeah. on the Pelicans. Oh yeah, that's with that's, a name like that's that. What he's talking I mean about. the Pelicans. Yeah, I play for the Pelicans. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, but I mean, the ones they know for their girls. Just tell you look, that much. To be honest, New Orleans hasn't done much. They've had AD there for a while. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they haven't done much to put a team around them. So if there's no, any blame lie. to be, that's a lie. If that's there's a lie. any no, blame no, 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 to no. be put that's around, it's managed. That's a lie. Not because didn't AD. they have wh- who's the other player they have on the squad? Um, the one that went to uh, Milwaukee. Uh, they got from Chicago, Mirchic, and sure. then they have um, the the other player that is a defender, Zion Williams. No, no, no. Now, now no, they have Zion Williams. They got now. lucky with that first. Yeah, they that, got really lucky. I thought that played. was gonna be go to New York Knicks. The New Yorks did not get it. I don't know. They did the have Chris Paul. Look, too. the Pelicans did try, man. But at the end of the day, it's a hard of a champion. He was always injured. So you cannot blame it on N.O. Well, he's going to the Lakers showtime. Uh, yep. He gets uh, to play alongside the best player in the league now. So And there's yeah. a lot of girls out there, too. I'll give him that. That, that too. And his oh, sex sure. appeal, I imagine, is much higher now. So. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Scarlett Johansson's over there. <laughs> she automatically <laughs> Boom. win. Boom. All right. Uh, uh, that is done for sports. We're gonna move on to pop culture. Pop. pop. Uh, story of the day. Biggest news we got for this episode. Mm-hmm. Finally, Spider Man. Spider Man is yeah, back yeah, in yeah, MCU. Yeah, yeah. Marvel and Sony have reached a deal to finish out the mm-hmm. last movie of Spider Man. It's Mr. back, baby. Mr. Tom Stark. Holland is back. Mr. Stark. I miss Mr. Stark. <laughs> Uh, I'm super happy for this. But now, we knew. We knew, we had discussed it. We knew money talks. Yeah. Did we not? Yeah. Yeah, uh, there, true. There was no way that he was going to stay out of the MCU. Like, but if they only confirmed but, only thir- the third movie. Yeah, correct. And that's where I'm kind of like still kind of down on this is that Sony's going to hold this chip, leverage chip against Marvel. And really, there's no way of this ending until Marvel retains Spider-Man back. Will Sony ever sell it back? Hell I doubt it. Hell no. It is Hell no. That's a moneymaker. But man, what a dumb deal for Marvel to give up the movie rights to Sony back in the day. This happened back in. I don't think. Back with the first. Trilogy. I don't think that happened. How I think. Dumb. No, I think, that's exactly what no, happened. No, I think that they were like they never thought nobody was gonna create Spider Man since the fifties. It's such a dumb. So, to to give up movie rights. To a franchise like that. But no that. one knew it was going to be that big, bro. Uh, no one knew. According to Variety, uh, let me pull it up here. The new deal was signed late on Thursday night. Negotiations involved top players from both studios, including Sony Pictures chief Tom Rothman, Fe- Feige, and Walt Disney Studios co-chairs Alan Horn and Alan Bergman. In exchange for lending Fergie's, uh, Fe- uh, Feige's uh, producing uh, prowess, Marvel and Disney will receive roughly 25% of the profits, according to insiders. Disney will retain its mer- merchandising rights and will up, uh, put up roughly a quarter of financing. As uh, part of the arrangement, Spider-Man will also appear in one future Marvel Studios film. I'm guessing that's Avengers. Hmm. So, 
Is it Avengers without Tony Stark? This is, and this is the thing, is right meow, after meow. these movies, this cameo in this third uh, trilogy movie, meow, meow. it's just kind of like... I mean, that third film was coming out regardless, but... I know, that's why I'm like, I don't know why it's a... <laughs> but, but it would have been different if the deal wasn't done. It would have been more leaning towards the Sony products, as in like Venom... And all this stuff they're trying to do over there versus what Marvel's trying to do with their Avengers. Like, oh, stuff. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So it was going to be like a Sony universe. Yeah. Sony universe. Yeah. With Venom and all that. Yeah. Damn it. Like, why can't, why did Marvel sell the right? Like, that's the dumbest. Because that's no one thought how big it the, was. One of the yeah, dumbest. This, no, this is before it got big. No one knew. Bro. No one you have no, one of the most before, popular before, superheroes before now, the, yeah. Yeah, before no, Mary Jane. Even then. Before yeah. the whole Mary Jane boo, 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 boo thing. Like, <laughs> when was the last time they made a movie? No. Like, 1950? I don't know. It was 1940? Terrible. It was dumb, man. Stupid deal, and now they're paying, they're paying for it, literally. Yeah, Disney can afford it, though. Look, I'm not like they Disney hurt it for cash. Disney yeah. And just all right. They, like, thank they God. Need- Thank God they took X Men away from those Thank stupid God. bastards. I rather I rather deal with uh, uh, Disney pushing agendas than fucking Fox creating stupid ass X Men movies. Hey, but Dark Phoenix. No, God, such a <laughs> stupid movie. Oh but my Dark God! Phoenix, and then Jennifer Orange. This this team should be called X Women because the women team to do the shaving. Shut your bitch ass up, your sorry ass. No, in X Men the women did not do much of the shaving. Now there are superheroes there are women that do a really good job. What hey, is don't talk X- shit about. But Mystique Storm. wasn't a fucking X Men to begin with. Hey, don't talk shit about Storm, okay? Um. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm happy Spider Man is back. Uh, I'm glad, but I just hope in the in the future there's some way. I agree. And remember, these are public companies. If Disney offers an offer <laughs> that can't be refused, yeah, to the stockholders, they have to sell. Mm, yeah. At this point, I think the government would probably step in because no, 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 Disney but not buying stuff. Sony. Not buying Sony, just buying the rights for Spider Man. Yeah. So you'll give them a couple no, billion dollars. Well, it's not even the that. I mean, right now, the funny thing, they have to wait out the contract. Oh yeah. So that I'm means just that's saying, the main they thing. They can buy Spider Man I mean, back. It's big news. And if it's an offer that the stock, because the the board, even though at the end has to do it, something beneficial to at the, the end, stock like, holders. And that would Peter benefit. Parker is Spider Man. That's so fucking stupid. Because first of all, that would never happen in the real Spider Man universe. But whatever. Uh, all right. So there's another Asteroid Festival happening. Oh, but, but, but before, is it? B- before we go, before we go into that, uh, congrats to Kevin Feige. Uh, supposedly he's rumored to direct one of the Star Wars Oh, movies. yeah, he's doing another Star Wars movie. Huh? Yeah, he's doing Star Wars now. No, I thought it was rumored. No, no, no. no. Yes, he's he's, he's going to direct one Star Wars movie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, am I, anything's better than that. <laughs> <laughs> anything's better than the last one. Lord Jesus, have mercy. But yeah, so I'm excited for that. Um, so a shout out to Kevin Feige, 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 save, whatever. Save Star Wars now. Yeah, please. You save Marvel now, save Star Wars. Yes, please. Um, uh, Asteroid Festival is happening. Is it? Uh, when is it? Uh, Pop November, it. November Drop 9th. It. November 9th, 2019. Right. It's a two day event, isn't it? I two think. day event? I think so. All right. Uh, what do y'all think about that? It's lit. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they haven't announced anything. I usually hear Asher World, the, the, the festivals are pretty good. Uh, if they have a good lineup, I, I probably would look for some tickets. But it has to be a good lineup. Because I'm not into really rap concerts. Like, I don't want to hear your ugly ass voice screw on the mic. Yeah, it's funny because when they record the song, it's like, it's not like But when they're like, it's good. Like, I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Drake, he sounds good, like, in his regular. But have you heard him in concerts? He sounds kind of dumb, except when he's singing. Like when he's trying, like okay, my one of my favorite songs from Travis Scott is that one um, with Drake. Um, what's it called? Uh, fuck, y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, sicko mode. Sicko mode, yeah. But if you hear it live, it sounds trashy. So I yeah. don't know. It has to be some certain types of like if J Cole goes, I probably will go. Um, I don't think he will though. Um, uh, well, honestly, this this Astral thing is mostly just like. Houston artist or what? No, what I'm saying is it's like uh, like a clout thing, you know. Hey, we got to go because everybody's going to be there. And it's like the hype beast type of thing to go to. That's pretty much what it looks like to me. But uh, my friends went last year. They said it was actually pretty fun. And they already bought tickets for this year. And I think some of them are already sold out. Uh, yeah, no, the one last year, actually, I, I, I kind of like, man, okay, this is one. Who did they have last year? Posty. 
Uh, Post Malone's pretty good. I like him. Um, I had been, I be jamming to that new album by Post Malone. It's depressing as fuck. But when you're not like that, the last year one, high. I was kind of like disappointed I didn't go to it because it looked badass. I was disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. This one, you said the lineup hasn't. No, they haven't released the lineup yet. I mean, uh, last, last year, year, last year it was obviously Travis Scott. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It was. Fucking your Kumbia King towards it, that fake ass one. Oh, Kumbia King. <laughs> it was? Was so, it or no? No. Yeah. no. Oh, that was a fake one. <laughs> the yeah. fake one you, you pulled up. Uh, no, it's Travis Scott. <laughs> they got me. Post Malone, uh, Lil Wayne, Young Thug, Ray Schmidt. That was a solid ass. I don't know about Young Thug. Uh, Gunna. And then they had like Houston All Star, Sheck West, Metro Boomin, Trippy Red, Metro Burger, Boomin, um, uh, Smart Perp, and Tommy Genesis. Something like that. Yeah, look, solid lineup last year, I'm, and that's why yeah, I'm disappointed. Yeah, it would have been. Go. But I don't know, Little Wayne, like. Ah, don't talk shit about Little Wayne. Nah, I know. I like Little Wayne's old stuff. His new stuff. That's true. all he's gonna be. Playing. Anyways, uh, we'll see. I mean, I am. I'm I mean, kind of interested left, in going on this. He one. almost left Blink One Eighty Two. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Breaking Bad. Woo! El Camino trailer came out. El, one. El Camino, no El Camino. El, El, El Camino. Camino. El Camino. Uh, yeah. What do y'all guys think? Man, I'm pumped. I just don't understand much of the trailer because I don't know why he's running. I know he's a criminal. It's for smart people. You gotta have a certain IQ. Yeah, you gotta have a high IQ. Well, just like watching yeah, uh, uh, Rick and Morty. Do, so it didn't. Uh, 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 maybe because I'm forgetting something from. Breaking Bad that I did not pick up. Maybe. That they killed like a bunch of people. Yeah, but that was uh, Walter, Walter White. But he was a part of it though. Nah, I there. guess. But he's all like, oh, scared. And he has scars on his face. And he gets all shaven up. I mean, I'm excited for it. I think the way they did Breaking Bad, honestly, in my opinion, Breaking Bad is one of the best TV shows of all time. Uh, they ended it not like fucking HBO and their Game of Thrones bullshit. They actually ended it like in a pretty badass way. Where the kid in the wheelchair becomes king? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so stupid, man. Oh, don't remind me. Don't remind me. Wasting my goddamn life. But anyway, um, yeah, dude, this is fucking 2008, 9? Brandon the Broken. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon the Broken. <laughs> <laughs> Would you follow me? Would you follow me? Yeah, uh, anyway, uh, El Camino, El Camino looks interesting. Uh, I, I want to see exactly what's going on. They're gonna bring back old characters. I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring the lawyer Saul back into play. Um, hopefully, well, he has his own show too. Yeah, Better Call Saul is actually pretty good too. Yeah, but I, I hope they just kill Walter White's wife. Um, that's like the only reason I'm probably watch it because I hated because she White's fucked wife. Ted, huh? Uh, she fucked Ted. Bro, she was such a annoying ass bitch for so many seasons, dude. You think so? Hell yeah. yeah. I know it. She changed her ways. How? Bitch, I'll fucking lay in this. The motherfucker dies. Come on, man. Get the fuck up. She changed her ways. <laughs> she didn't change shit. Um, she changed his dick. That's all, all she right, did. All right. She changed to Ted's dick. All right. Don't all forget. Right, all right, all right. Well, looks like these guys are pretty hyped about this show. Yeah, I am hyped. Um, well, let's give Elias. Elias, what you hyped about? Uh, More Breaking Bad. He's no, but like, like what exactly? Like, what do you want to know? You want more drugs? Uh, yeah, I want more, more heroin. <laughs> I just want to see what the, where the story is gonna go. I mean, I don't know. I'm yeah, gonna... I'm gonna start watching it all over again. Fuck. Okay. Um. So that is the end of the show. But before we go, <laughs> we want to talk about what have we been playing? Uh, Drix, you wanna talk about uh, what you've been playing? What's that Colonel Sanders game? <laughs> What is that? That's a dating game. Uh, no, I've seen God. pictures where it's like a guy pointing, but it's not Colonel Sanders. It's just like uh, some anime guy. Yeah, it's an anime version of the of KFC. I don't know, man. All right. He played it. I don't know. What is that? All right. So, here, let me pull up the trailer so people can see what the hell we're talking about here. What is it? Um, what is it? So, KFC released a game. <laughs> it's free. It's free to play. It's a dating sim. It's called "I Love You, Colonel Sanders: A Finger Licking Good Dating Simulator." It's is real. This is true. Finger licking good. Yes. This is real. So basically, <laughs> so basically, you're trying to get in the colonel's pants, and you're a student enrolled in this culinary school for cooking. Are you a girl or a guy? You're a girl, and she's ugly. Uh, actually, I don't even know how you look like. <laughs> and it's like a three day. Uh, like institute or something. Uh-huh. Uh, your professor is a corgi. Um, a corgi. Yeah. Um, there's a student. That's They're a, teaching my corgis. That's a robot. Uh, it's weird. 
but it's free to play. Go check it out. It's on Steam. It just sounds like your kind of game. Stop tainting my corgi. Chicken, KFC, corgis, finger Look. licking. This is finger licking. This has JP. Finger licking good. This has JP written all over it. Can you spell it before you put it? <laughs> Any, anything else? Anything else you've been playing? I've uh, been playing a lot of Apex. Uh, season 3 of Apex Legends is coming out <coughs> October 1st. That's super oh, yeah. hype. Uh, the trailer looked amazing. Can't wait to play that for sure. Okay. Uh, I have not been playing shit. Your phone games? Uh, <laughs> I, I cannot. I actually, uh, I do have a phone game that I play a lot. Um, uh, it, the, it's called um, The Age of Magic, I believe. Ew. And it's uh, basically like... What a loser. <laughs> Bro, I cannot turn my TV on. Casual gamer. Casual so, gamer. Wow. My dog fucking chewed the on reason my reason they created the controller. Wii. It control yeah. like casual go- gamers like you. Bro, that yeah. that Google TV uh, controller is so expensive. Oh, geez, Why don't you just go play fucking? Uh, just go buy a new TV. Nah, I'm gonna that get, dance I'm, game. I'm gonna get a call yeah. Ubisoft. I'm gonna get a Twitch. Uh, I'm gonna get a Twitch. Uh, I'm gonna get a Switch. Just dance. Anyway. Just dance. Just go play. Just dance. You fucking casual. You didn't you have just dance? Uh no. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, what I've been playing, <coughs> I have a little system here. The Nintendo Switch Lite. This is what I've been playing. <laughs> what? Uh, You're gonna switch it out? <laughs> he's gonna switch. Um, oh, man. And yeah, I've been playing. So, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Now that's a classic. Just came out. I beat uh, that the in, remake. I beat that in 1992, I think, 93. Uh, yeah, and it, it still holds up, man. It is it is fun. The puzzles hold up. The graphics that Grezzo made are so much better. Uh, it's kind of taking that nostalgia from the old game and making them anew. Uh, I've been playing uh, Fire Emblem, of course, Three Houses. It's a long game. Uh, I'm still in that. Did you smash? I, did you smash some bitches? I like? haven't smashed anybody yet, uh, but I'm hoping. I'm right. working on it. You're working on it? There's a couple of, uh, you know, pretty good prospects, you know what I'm saying? Colonel, Colonel Sanders? <laughs> level. Yes. <laughs> Colonel Sandal, Sanders level. Uh, I've also just got Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, now, that is a sounds PlayStation. Like a yeah, that sounds like a porn. That bro. is a PlayStation 3 game uh, that hasn't been re- remade or released again. It got released for Nintendo Switch. I have been playing that. The problem is there, there is a little bit of a bug. Where in the cutscenes, you see your tits. No, they're talking, <laughs> and then the voiceover doesn't show, come up to like a couple of seconds later. Oh, okay. okay. So it's like a little bug that's kind of like takes you out of the game, but nonetheless, it looks good. It plays well. Uh, so those are the main three games I've been playing uh, on the on my new Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, the Switch Lite, should you get it? Should you not? If you already have a Switch, probably not. Right. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, uh, We're not here to $200, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you haven't bought you a Switch... You didn't pay by Nintendo, just letting you know. I know. Uh, if you haven't bought a Switch, this might be a good way for you to get in, and it's portable only. You can't put it on a TV. Uh, if you already have a Switch, you sh- probably shouldn't get it, but I did. How come you didn't wait for the Pokemon one? Uh, I didn't like. I didn't want to wait for the uh, What about the yellow the one? Gray. You didn't like the yellow one? one? Eh. Uh, if it was something more vibrant, I probably would have waited. Anyways, uh, that's what I've been playing. Now, <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to our final punches, our last words. Okay. Sure. Uh, JP. So you motherfuckers have been bitching about Last of Us showing that we're going to have to kill dogs. Number one, fuck y'all. Stop bitching and complaining about mm. stupid bullshit. Number it's a two? fucking game. <laughs> it's two. a fucking game. Number two? Number two what? You said number one. What's number two? What's up, <laughs> Oh, number one? I'm sorry. <laughs> number two? Uh, they just, nah. okay, They've just. they been bitching about the dogs, man. Yeah, the dogs yeah. are part of the game. Yeah, no, it's a video game. They already Let said kill all the you, dogs don't, I want. you don't have to kill the dogs. I want to no, kill the dogs. No, you got to kill the dogs. No, you don't have to. They already, they already said that you don't have I wanna to. I want to pet them, and then I want to kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds, sounds That's fine. Right. I mean, it's it's a survival game, man. So it's, you're, it's a survival game. Don't kill the dogs. No, what I'm saying is it's a survival game. You kill the dogs if you have to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm killing dogs. Jerks, final punch? Uh, I'm so I'm really upset they didn't find any aliens. Oh my god! I don't care if they rush to goddamn Area 51. They're, they're not gonna find it. shit. Yeah. It's mostly military. Standing shit. outside. Pussies. That's fucking lame. Standing yeah. outside. Hey, Cowards. Hey guys, just rush. No, cause we're too pussies. We're gonna get shot. Oh, uh, I do have a couple of videos of me out there in the desert. 
Yeah, oh, we yeah? can talk about that later. Okay. Um, <laughs> you should have my up? final punch. Um, a B man. This has, has this has to be. I I've, I've lived through diva wide receivers right in my life. Antonio yeah. Gates. Uh, I mean Antonio Gates. Uh, uh T- Terrell T- Terrell Owens. Owens. Uh, Chad, Chad Ochocinco. He changed his fucking name to. Uh, his... What's what's that guy that played with Tampa Bay? And then he went he, he went with the Jets, and uh, then he went to Tampa Bay, and he won a Super Bowl, and they they sent him to Dallas. Keyshawn Johnson. Keyshawn, bitch ass Johnson. The original. Team, yeah. If anything. Uh, um. It's well, just come, but A B come just. Complete whack job. <coughs> you can tell there's something mentally wrong there. But for I, someone to not be able to hold back or just shut the fuck up, yeah. there's something mentally wrong. And, and you're right. This generation of fucking young people coming up with the social media <laughs> and shit, they're just killing themselves. And as you can see, AB has lost millions. 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 30 millions. He was like, fuck 30 millions. Who the fuck does millions. that? Who the fuck? If all you have to do. Shut the hell up. Bro, all you have to do is shut the hell up and show up for work. That's it. No. That's what I do every fucking day. No. And I get paid a measly fucking amount every hour. So, fuck AB. Fuck. I hope he doesn't come back to the NFL. There's a I whole, hope either. There's a whole XFL. I hope I see him at KFC. McMahon is over doing the XFL game. I hope again. I see him at KFC serving Colonel Sanders. McMahon is doing the XFL game. Feel free to go to the XFL. McMahon. That XFL's dead, ain't it? They're yeah. doing the XFL again. It's dead again. It's dead again. It's already no, done. Oh, no, they, back. that's the other football league that was dead. The one well, that ran out of money. He can go to Canadian League. Yeah. They have, they have, yeah. Canadian have fun leagues. in Canada. Yeah, CFL. Yeah. 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 I haven't confirmed in Canada. Well, that's all I got to say yeah. about that dumbass. Woo! That dumbass. All right, guys. That's been our episode. Uh, let us know what you like. Comment on the below. Sorry like, that we share. Sorry that we haven't been on. No, I'm not sorry. Uh, it's, it's been complicated. I'm not sorry. We should be on and pop. I was trying to handle it. All right. I'm All right. Not sorry. Well, um, uh, we are on Anchor, Spotify, iTunes. Twitter, Insta, Facebook. Uh, Elias is gonna put all those links. And then your mom. <laughs> Got him. All right, guys. Burn. We love you. Peace. Bye. Are you doing the hunting show?